Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Devotional this morning. I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the Daily Devotional with the Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is February 2nd, 2024, Friday. The theme of today's devotional is given for you. The scripture is from Luke chapter 18, verses 15 through 17. People were bringing even infants to him that he might touch them. And when the disciples saw it, they sternly ordered them not to do it. But Jesus called for them and said, Let the children come to me, and do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly, I tell you, Whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. Amen. Today's story is from Pete, who lives in Tennessee. I was an exciting sun. It was an exciting Sunday for my daughter Petra. She would be receiving communion for the first time at our new church. Petra was excited. Finally, our turn came to receive the elements. When Petra stood in front of the pastor, he instinctively placed his hand on her head and offered the children's blessing, forgetting that she was supposed to receive communion that Sunday. As she turned to walk back to our pew, I could see the chest fallen look on Pat Petra's face. It's okay, I said. He just forget. I know that it's fine. But I could see that it wasn't. But then, as the pastor was covering the communion elements, he took one wa uh, wafer and one small cup and began walking down the aisle toward the back of the church. He made his way to the middle of the row where Petra was sitting and spoke the words, The body of Christ broken for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. That experience remains for me a powerful and tender reminder that Jesus comes to each of us. We are not forgotten. Amen. Sometimes we feel that we are the person who uh, go to God. We come to God first. The reason that we think like that is we, uh, because God is always there. God is always here. And it is up to us to accept Him or not. But you know what? The truth is different. Because God is with us, we have the chance to accept Him or not which means God comes to us first. God always comes to us first. Like God comes to Abraham, came to Abraham first. Like Jesus came to the people first. Of course, the people comes to Jesus because they know, they knew that Jesus is, was a healer. But to get there, Jesus came to their town first and show their um, kingdom, uh, sh uh, let them taste the kingdom of God by healing. In our lives, do you think we come to God first? No. God comes to us first, and then we found Jesus. We found God's love and grace, so we have the chance to accept God. Don't forget, God always comes to us first. God always are with us. Uh, is or with us to bless us to lead us in God's in God's ways to God's ways the another thing is this even though the pastor uh, in the story forgot uh, to give the, uh, the elements of the communion to the to Petra God never fails God never forget anyone people can make mistakes people can um, forget or not to do something which he should do or she should do. But God, 
never lose the chance. God never lose and never do the mistake or overdo what he have what he wants to do. Our God is perfect. Our God is great. Even though our time and our way would be different from God's way and different uh, God's time, we know that God's time and God's ways are better than ours. When you feel that you are abandoned by God for some situations, in some situations, or some reasons, please remember that God is with us and God cares for us. God never leaves us and God never make, uh, makes mistake. Church family, we are God's people. And our God is great. Let us have the confidence and let us have gratitude for we have the great and wonderful God in our lives. Let us pray. Inviting God, we are grateful that you come to each of us with signs that we belong to you. Lord, be with us. Help us. Let us see you with our spiritual eyes. Open our eyes, open our ears, and let us see and hear your great work and your voice for us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. I hope you have a great weekend, uh, and I will see you on Sunday uh, at the Sunday worship, 10 o'clock, um, 139 Main Street, Little Falls, uh, in New Jersey, Little Falls United Methodist Church. Or you can join us through online worship uh, through YouTube or Facebook. And then I will see you next Tuesday for the daily devotional. Have a great day and weekend. And see you on Sunday and next Tuesday. Thank you. Bye.